social media security. Social media provides a world of opportunities to meet people, expand friend circles, publish your creativity, exchange ideas and share knowledge, transact business and create an online identity for yourself. Social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, WhatsApp and many other popular platforms have millions of active users. Most of the social media users publish a large volume of private information including demographic data, contact details, photos and videos in their social network space. Not surprisingly, social media has become a gold mine for cyber criminals. Security Threats in Social Media Cyber world is a virtual space that is not yet matured to identify individuals and their credentials. In cyber world, you can hide your identity or even fake identity. There are all kinds of bad people looking out for vulnerabilities in cyberspace including hackers, burglars, kidnappers, pedophiles, perverts and people with unsound mind, extortionists, blackmailers, antisocial elements, hostile competitors or your own enemies targeting you. Social media lets the whole world peep into your personal space if you are not careful to shut off strangers. Let us examine some of the cyber security threats in social media. Fake Profiles a fraudster profiles you personally and creates a fake Facebook profile impersonating your friend. You receive a friend's request from the fake profile. Seeing the name of your friend, you accept the request and allow him or her to your inner friend's circle where personal information and postings are seen by all. The fraudster further posts messages to trick you and your friends into investing money in financial frauds. Cyber Stalking Assume you have not set privacy settings in your Facebook profile. This will enable anyone to view your personal profile, which gives all details of your near and dear including name of children, school and photos. Even if you have set privacy such that the information is visible only to friends, a pedophile profiling you can get inside your circle using a fake friend's request. With the information available, the attacker can follow or stalk your beloved ones and engineer further crimes. Phishing a user receives an email with a link asking to log into a website using Facebook or Google account. The resulting login page looks the same as Google or Facebook account but is actually a phishing or fake page controlled by a hacker. The username and password you type into the page can be tracked by the hacker. Click Jacking a user receives a post on his or her social media account containing a link to an interesting story. The message is posted by a hacker with access to the server invoked on clicking the link. On clicking the link, the user session data on the social media site is hijacked by the hacker. It can be used by the hacker to access the social media account of the user without knowing username or password. Another scenario is that 
Clicking the link may cause malware to be downloaded into the user's device, which could further lead to leakage of private information. These days, shortened URLs are used by web developers, online media and marketing companies to shorten a website address that is otherwise too long. Some examples are URLs starting with bit.ly, goo.gl, tinyurl.com and ow.ly etc. bit.ly slash 125 of BMS may open a valid web page with an actual but very lengthy URL. Such shortened URLs are used to share online articles, offers, etc. through SMS, WhatsApp, etc. over mobile. The fact that shortened URLs hide actual website details makes it very convenient for hackers to hide malicious URLs for click tracking or phishing attacks. Identity theft Phishing and click jacking can lead to hacking of personal accounts and identity theft. Besides, identity theft can happen if you do not maintain strong passwords for your online social media and other accounts. Assume information about your near and dear pets etc. is disclosed in your Facebook profile or in some postings you make which can be viewed by public or at least your friend circle. When you register in any website, it generally asks a security question such as what is your first pet's name or which is your first school or what is your mother's maiden name. The answers you give for these questions are used to identify you when you request for a reset of password. A hacker knowing your username but not password may request for a password reset with your username. Answers to the security question may be available from your Facebook profile. Or the hacker could even fake your friend and use social engineering techniques to extract the required information from you. Data leakage An active Facebook user shares live updates on Facebook such as watching movie at a theatre or enjoying vacation with family at a resort. The information could be useful for a burglar who breaks into the user's house, address of which could also be available from Facebook. People share too much information about themselves, their habits, health, organizations, products, financial details, and other sensitive information in social media. It can work against your privacy as the data can be leaked and misused. For example, insurance companies may use leaked data from social media to detect medically unfit users who are ineligible for insurance claim. Besides, Employers may rely on social networks to assess applicants at the time of job recruitment. Unveiling too much personal information such as one's drinking habits or posts portraying one's negative behavior can adversely affect a person's employment. Security Best Practices in Social Media Verify a friend's request in social networking sites to make sure that the request is not fake. Be wary of clicking links in messages that looks fishy. Move mouse over the link without clicking and check the URL that appears in the status bar at the bottom of the browser window. Do not proceed if the URL does not start with the website address you expect. For example, if the message in the post relates to an offer in Amazon, the URL shown on the status bar should point to Amazon.in, even if the URL in the message may be a shortened URL as explained previously. Beware of phishing or fake sites. Check if the URL is correct. 
If it starts with HTTPS and if it has a trusted SSL certificate that can be accessed by clicking the padlock symbol besides the HTTPS URL. Opt for two-factor authentication while registering into website accounts so that it sends an OTP to your email or registered mobile number as part of authentication. Be cautious in sharing personal information including telephone number, bank account details, full employment details, address, photos and other sensitive information in social media which can be misused. Check privacy settings in social networking sites and enable privacy settings so that information shared from your account is not viewable to all. To keep sites from tracking your activity, enable Do Not Track feature. Most websites have an option for you to opt out of tracking. Do not be a part of a chain message promoting content that abuses another's rights. Do not be part of posting or forwarding content promoting violence, vulgarity, grotesque images, communal hatred or abusive comments. Do not post confidential or sensitive business information on social media unless you are authorized to do so by your organization's social media policy. Now that you know the hidden risks, apply due diligence and follow good netiquette in social media.